Hi guys, it's Real Talk with Tracy. What do I want to talk about today? Something that I think we probably all share at one time or another is grief. Grief and loss. And I'll tell you, I am going through a really hard time. I am grieving the loss of my dog more than I thought I would because he was sick for a long time and I thought that I prepared myself because I would get up at four in the morning and lay on the floor by his dog bed. He couldn't get in bed anymore. And I would talk to him and I would tell him that I was going to let him cross over in a very pain-free way and that he wouldn't know. And I was doing it because I loved him so much. And I still stand by that. My dog's drinking, my other dog's drinking some water. Um, I had Sammy a little over 13 years and he was 16 when we put him down and he had cancer and stage kidney disease and seizures. He was on a lot of medication and he just started constantly vomiting. He was pulling away from me. He didn't want to be touched anymore. All the symptoms that he was ready to go, he was losing his back end. His muscles were like atrophying terribly. And um, it's been over a couple months. I, I can't seem to get past this. I miss him. I miss his presence. I miss him poking his nose through... <sighs> And looking for me when I'm in the shower. I miss him laying next to me when I do floor yoga and sometimes too close and I would have to push him away. Come on, Sam. Mom wants to do floor yoga and I'd have to kind of push him away because he always wanted to be with me. And he was 45 pounds and fluffy and he was beautiful. And I'm going to put his picture on the opening of this so you can see when you're seeing it that says um the video the picture i'm going to use it's going to be of him and you're going to see how beautiful and special he was and there's many videos of him on my youtube but i feel like my heart is breaking and i feel it in waves i feel it in swells where it's really bad and then it'll go away and I feel like I'm over it and then it's back. And I am spending enormous amounts of time online trying to replace him. Even though I can't replace him, I am spending enormous amounts of time online trying to find a rescue dog that reminds me of him. Um, when I got him, I originally thought he was a sheepdog. It was a very blurry picture. And I went into Lancaster, California, way deep in the desert. And he was in horrible shape. He had BBs in his chest right here because they were using him for target practice. And, um, he came out and I was sitting down. And he jumped on me and another dog attacked him and ripped his ear and he was bleeding all over and shaking his head. And I had blood everywhere. And I looked him in the eye. And I just knew. I knew he was my dog. Even though he was so damaged. He had pieces of fur missing. And he had like a skin problem. And he was so damaged mentally and emotionally. And I wrapped up his head. And I put him in the car. And I just couldn't give this lady money fast enough. I just wanted out of there. I couldn't even get self-service. 
and I drove him back here and we went to an emergency vet and they sewed up his ear. God, I'm so sorry. I'm so emotional. I didn't think it was going to get me that much talking about it, but I brought him home and he hated my husband. He hated my husband for months. And my husband was so patient. Every day, my husband, who would work so hard, would come home and give him little treats until he finally won his heart. I have such a big hole in my heart, and I am missing my dog. I have another dog. It's just not the same. And I've been looking on all the sites, trying to, trying to find a dog that's going to fill that space. That pain. Which I thought with all the loss I've had in my life, my best friend has Alzheimer's. I've had friends die from cancer. You know, I had a very narcissistic parents bringing me up, very dysfunctional family. I just thought I was strong enough. And when I put Sam down, I was, I was relieved. I was relieved because a couple days earlier, I left him outside for not even five minutes and I went outside and he was having a seizure and he was laying in a puddle of his own urine. He was looking up at me like, help me. And the only thing I could do, which I felt was the sweetest thing to do, was to have these people come to the house and overdose him and put him down here at home with my husband and I holding him. And he's trans transitioned and crossed over and he's not in any more pain, but my God, I sure am. So I just don't know what to do. Sometimes being so close to an animal can really even hurt more than losing a person. I've lost so many friends to cancer and now my best friend to Alzheimer's. And I've lost dogs before cancer, Cushing's disease, Addison's. But he was something. He was special, really special. Oh, God, I just miss his presence. I want to know, I want you to know, whoever's listening to this, you're not alone. If you're grieving for an animal or a person, it hits hard. It, it is. I don't cry easy. I'm on a shitload of Prozac. <laughs> you guys, I've been taking Prozac. Oh my God, I've been taking Prozac, Prozac, since 1994, since the earthquake and the onset of my OCD, I've been taking Prozac and it's not easy to cry. I have to be really feeling it, you guys, I mean, deep to cry. So I appreciate you listening. I appreciate you letting me share my pain and also my love, my incredible amount of love for my dog that was like my shadow. He was always present. He was always there. Even going to the bathroom. Mommy, where are you going? 
I want to come. Where are you going? And I rehabbed him. He had never played with a toy, you guys. He didn't know what a bone was. He didn't know what a nylon bone was. He didn't know what a toy was. He didn't know what love was. And we gave him 13 years of incredible, incredible love. So I just want to share with you part of my heart. I didn't know again that this was going to be such an emotional video, but I want you to know that you're not alone. And if you're suffering, you can comment to me and I'll write back to you. It's good to talk about this. It's good. People say they're just dogs. No, there's so much more than just dogs. So please pray for me that I find my dog, the dog that's going to help me heal from this horrible loss. And like always, I pray my biggest prayer is peace on earth. Be kind to each other. Life's too short not to be kind to each other. Love each other. Okay, so sending you guys love and hugs from California. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. Thank you guys. Thank you for letting me share part of my heart with you. Okay, have a great day. Bye.